One of the biggest complaints for Final Cut Pro is that you can't edit raw footage directly in Final Cut Pro. And when I talk about raw footage, I mean footage like Blackmagic Raw, ARRI, LOG or Cinema DNG. In this video, you're gonna see how we can finally edit raw footage inside Final Cut Pro using the Color Finale Transcoder. If you're interested to get it, you will find a link in the description of this video down below. And for now, let's go into Final Cut Pro and see the Color Finale Transcoder in action. We are in the Final Cut Pro interface and let's see how we can work with the Color Finale Transcoder to edit raw footage inside Final Cut. As soon as you download the Color Finale Transcoder, you will see this icon here and by clicking it, you can import your raw footage. Now, I have a footage, let's say here, from the Black Magic 6K and uh, you see here the timeline. Now, on the right side, you see that we can uh, select the transcoding codec. Also, we can select the resolution because this was set to 6K, we can either select full for the 6K half resolution or even lower. Now, half resolution is very nice, especially if you export to 1080p, but of course you can go with a full resolution as well. On the color space, you can select the different uh, Rec 709 or the Black Magic uh, Gen 5, all of the available color space that you have available here. Let's go with the Gen 5. Now you can have the option to select the highlight recovery. This is something that it's going to be very uh, helpful to recover the highlights. You can select the gamut compression enable and from here you can make raw adjustments for the white balance. For example, if you want to make it warmer or colder, white balance teed, which is more greenish or magenta, whatever you want. Of course, we can make the adjustments on the ISO, the usual process that we all love to do when we edit raw footages, and of course, the exposure. As soon as you finish editing your raw footage, you can click on Import Selected Movie, and you will have the footage inside Final Cut Pro. Something that I want to notice here is that if you have different footage from the same camera, let's say from the same location, the same day, and you want to paste the different settings, the different uh, adjustments that you made into the raw footage, you can select this, click on copy, and let's say you're gonna be here, you'll click on paste, and it will bring the same settings to the other footage as well, or you can select multiple by hitting the shift in your keyboard while you select that. Lastly, if uh, your footage is shot with an anamorphic lens, like uh, this footage right here, you can click in anamorphic and it will auto adjust to the correct dimensions for anamorphic. So after we finish with all of that, we click on import selected movie and then we wait for the footage to be imported here. As we wait, something that I would like to see in the future is that when we make the adjustments in the raw footages, we can't do any other adjustments inside Final Cut Pro again, so we need to do the whole process from the beginning. But I will have a solution for that, let me show you later on. So we have the footage here, as you can see, as I mentioned, we can't have any raw adjustments on the footage. However, if we choose to get the Color Finale plugin as well, then we can place it here and we can go to the inspector panel on the right, as you can see, and we can have a lot of different corrections in our footage, very close to what the raw adjustments have to offer. For example, the exposure, as you see here, the contrast, the pivots, we can change the white balance and even click on the auto white balance as well. Saturation, tint, sharpness. And if we click to edit layers, and let's say we go to color wheels, for example, or curves, we see a lot of tools that they're very close to what DaVinci Resolve has to offer in color grading. And it will make our process for color grading even more easy. Probably in the near future, I will have a dedicated video just for the Coro Finale plugin. I hope you found this video helpful and you learned a new way to edit your raw footages inside Final Cut Pro. If you have any questions or you just want to say hi, I'm waiting you in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Emilio and I will see you 
in the next video. And before you go, if you're into conversations with creators into a video podcast or a podcast, you should go and check out our podcast, The Creative Less Podcast, that I will also have links in the description of this video down below. I'm out.